Hey everyone, we're at day two of Pittsburgh Fall 2021. Feels more like winter, but I'll give that a pass. So I didn't do any vlogging for day one because I did FMC and that was it. And I actually got a, a PR, uh, not single, average, which I'll go over a whole video on FMC for that because I know a lot of people just don't care. Uh, going to get some coffee right now. Got three by three, two by two, and four by four coming up. Let's go check out some highlights. Ready. So yeah, as I said, I'm not going to go through the first day yet. I'm gonna make a separate video talking about FMC and breaking down those solves. Also, in the future, I'm going to go through some of these solves from the competition and break them down into a walkthrough of what I did. So maybe you can learn something from it. First thing of the day was yeah. two by two, and I had always done Ortega since, I don't know, a few months ago, I started really practicing CLL, or what I call poor man CLL, because it's basically C-O-L-L and C-M-L-L, -L, and I definitely got uh, schooled by Derpy Cuber, and he, he fixed one of my algorithms on the spot after telling me I was doing a bad one, which he was correct. So my previous average for 2x2 two two was about 5.6 seconds, oh, like and every single one of my solves was under 5 seconds. I had a couple 3 second solves, and yeah, it was all uh, CLL, so building first layer, doing last layer. Pretty happy with it. I'm really happy with that. Uh, so yeah, definitely want to clean up some of my CLLs and keep on doing that for a little bit. After that... There was 3x3, three three, and it was fine. It was completely fine. I averaged on like low 13 seconds, had mainly 13. I think there was a 12 second or two 12 second solves in there. Nothing super special, better than my previous average, so great. I'm not really going to talk about anything with that. 4x4, four four, again, nothing great. However, there was one solve that I was at 36 seconds at OLL parity and I was super pumped and I noticed that because during OLL parity when you don't really need to focus too much your hands just do their thing I looked down at the time I was like oh 36 seconds and my brain just shut off and so from OLL parity it took me another 12 seconds to finish the solve and I got a 48 still an okay solve but ugh. yeah I did get parity I believe 9 out of 10 solves so that definitely hurt my times but it is what it is it's 4 by 4 And 3x3 three three, round 2. Now I knew I was not going to be making the final round, so I just decided to go crazy. Just crazy turning, trying to go as fast as I can, and it definitely paid off and also hurt me. First solve, plus 2. So it was about a 13 second solve, plus 2 ended up being a 15 second solve because it was miscellaneous layer. Second solve, first sub 10. Finally did it. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, there was no skips or anything. It was just a good solve. Yes. Solve three, another plus two. So there was a 15 second solve again because it was 13 plus two. Next solve, 10.6. I almost, I thought this was going to be another sub 10. I thought it was, it was going really well. And then the final one was just like a 13 second solve. So, ended up still being... Uh, below my previous average from earlier in the day. It was like 12.9 something. All in all, a great competition. 
run really well, got to meet a lot of new people, got to see people that I haven't seen in a couple years. Always good. I can't wait for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the scrambles and walkthroughs in the future for FMC, for 2x2, for 3x3. I don't think I'm going to walk through a 4x4 solve. So that seems maybe a bit much. I've done that before, but it might be hard for me to recreate the one from the competition. We'll see. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And so I stop by speedcubeview.com for my news and reviews.